breaking news for, for you here on this Wednesday morning. A total of four positive COVID tests in the NFL. There are two new tests in Tennessee. That's putting Sunday's Bills-Titans game in jeopardy. Then you have Patriots cornerback Stephon Gilmore testing positive. That puts the Patriots-Broncos game on Sunday up in the air. Now, there were no positive tests today for the Chiefs, and they last played the Patriots on Monday night. We're now joined by our senior NFL writer, Pete Prisco, with the latest here with us with these uh, latest COVID updates. Pete, the number now up to four just on Wednesday. It's been, I guess, what, about a week now since we had our first episode with the Titans overall. Just what are your first thoughts with all of these numbers? Not surprised. Not one bit. Uh, I told you last week I thought this would happen earlier in the season. There are going to be positive tests uh, we're testing, uh, they're testing on a weekly, a daily basis. There are going to be positive tests pop up. So how do you handle it? That's what the league and the, uh, the teams have to figure out. It sounds like the Titans are going to get slapped with some kind of fine for uh, protocols uh, in their situation. Uh, that's what you're hearing from some GMs around the league. So I think it's one of those situations where you got to try and do your best to play on. But as long as you're testing these guys, there are going to be positive tests. Stephon Gilmore is the second star on the Patriots to test positive. Cam Newton getting a positive test on Saturday. There's a picture going around on social media of Gilmore being very close to Mahomes after the game that was already pushed back from Sunday to Monday. Here you have it. Knowing the little bit we do know about COVID, uh, this is obviously a very fluid situation. When he got it, could he still have been spreading? What do you make of this situation and this picture? Well, he's also close to a lot of players during that game when he's tackling them and getting in, you know, piles and pulling guys off piles and stuff and, uh, you know, talking to guys across the line of scrimmage. So, you know, that picture is uh, going viral, but they, there's other instances where they were close to other players, where he was close to other players as well. They're going to ban the, the handshake after the game. I mean, that was one thing that you thought would happen uh, at some point. I thought it should have happened to start the season. There's no reason for it. You just wave to each other and get out of there. Uh, and I think that's what's going to happen. I think that will happen this week. There will be no postgame handshakes, I would imagine. The NFL will step in and say no more postgame handshakes after the game. Pete, what kind of conversations do you think are being had around the league right now, either from front offices to even maybe what uh, coaches are telling their players? Well, follow the protocols, but the, you know when you're testing everybody and say you bring in a guy and he tests positive and then it spreads through your facility, then you're going to have all kinds of problems. So uh, I think they're saying be as diligent as you can. In the league office, they're trying to figure out how you can play a season, a competitive season, one with competitive balance and move forward. Uh, they might have to move, uh, you know, the playoffs back. They might have to use week eight, you know, week 18 as a filler week, as if that's possible. Move the Super Bowl. I mean, you know, the week between the Super Bowl uh, and the championship games wasn't always there. Uh, you know, in, in, the, in, the, when the Raiders played uh, the Bucks. They didn't have a week in between, and you just flew and you went. And I can remember doing that many a time, going to a championship game, uh, flying back across the country and doing a Super Bowl. So there are options. There's possibilities. I think they're going to try and do everything they can to finish the season. Uh, but these tests are going to pop up. All, you know, From the rest of the year, they will have positive tests popping up all across the league. We know Tennessee having two more positive tests, and it looked like they were going to be good to go to get back in the building because they didn't have any positives on Tuesday. You mentioned that they might be facing some sort of punishment because breaking some violations of COVID protocols, uh, something we're waiting to see. What is the mood in that building? For me, it feels deflating that they were so close, and the situation there in their building, can that still be a, a learning point for these other, other teams? Oh, I don't think there's any question. I mean, every team in the league is standing up in, in front of their players and saying, hey, look what's happening in Tennessee. We cannot allow that to happen. Now you have to figure out how it happened, though. What was the origin? Was it a, a, a practice squad player who went out? Or was it, uh, you know, you don't know the origin of it. Until you do, it's hard to pinpoint how it happened. So, yeah, I think every team in the league is using this to point out 
we have to be more stringent. You players have to be more stringent in what you're doing off the field. You saw what the Raiders did. Uh, they had an off-the-field incident where they weren't wearing masks, and they got fined for it. And probably uh, that's one of those situations where you tell your team, you can't do that. No matter what goes on, you cannot do that. So uh, if you want to finish the season, you got to follow the protocols. And it's tough to do. I get it. I understand it. Players are young. Uh, they want to get out. They want to do things. They can't sit in their house cooped up all the time. But if they want to finish the season, based on the protocols the NFL has put in place, they have to do everything they can to make sure that they do not co uh, contract the virus. As you said it, we knew the Patriots and the Titans having positive COVID tests, but it's the Raiders that have a new one. Uh, but this week they did have 10 players fined for attending that charity event without face masks. They just played the Bills. They're set to play the Chiefs. What is the status out there in Vegas with, with their situation? Um, excuse me, they just played the Bills. They're set to play the Chiefs. Uh, is it sh I mean, it's not shocking that there's another one, but this is just, Pete, another wrinkle, a major hurdle for the NFL to have to get over. Again, though, before the season, teams prepared for this. They, they thought there would be positive tests. It's just, a, you know, the biggest issue right now is there were so many in Tennessee that they couldn't get to the facility and practice. Uh, a week ago, you saw the Atlanta Falcons had A.J. Terrell have a positive test, and they played. Uh, but when it spreads through the facility, then it becomes a big issue. If it's one player, you saw the Patriots, they played, uh, and now you have a second positive test in Stephon Gilmore. But... Uh, the league prepared for this. They thought there would be positive tests. They were just worried about spread, major spread inside one team, and that could be a problem. So if the Raiders only have one test, uh, like the Falcons did a couple weeks ago, they'll be able to play. If it's more than one, then you got a problem. A lot for the NFL to figure out. We really appreciate your time and insight, Pete. Thank you. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.